What's up guys, Rob Kuhn here, and look, every poker player tilts, maybe you bust a tournament and tilt, maybe you're just in a bad mood and tilt off a couple hundred dollars in a one-two game. What are you doing? Excuse me. But us, the viewer, sometimes we get to see people tilt for a couple hundred thousand dollars. In today's video, we're going to see just that between Eric Person and Raisuku. Without spoiling, let's get in the action. I heard it's right on 10. And that. they really skewed it if it's 12 because mm -hmm. there, were, there weren't that much people, than, that many more people than any other one. This was the second second busiest one, right? So as crazy as um, I I think it was the second as crazy as that ever. check raise with the red 9-8 on the turn, the river bed is kind of interesting too. I, I think it's way too way too large. I, I'm, I'm amazed. I mean, I'm doing the best I can. Obviously, you know, I came and I flew from however long it is from Boston here. Not on much sleep. So I was on a five hour flight this morning and we had to sit on the tarmac for an hour when we landed in LA. Just for reference, this is the Friday game at the Hustler and it's playing 100, 200, 400 with a really, really nice lineup. Action opens to JRB under the gun who makes it 1.2K and Eric Pearson goes for a very, very loose three bet to 3.2K. I would personally just always go ahead and fold here with a seven. I guess if you are gonna play it, you probably want to three bet it because that allows better ace x to fold behind you with that said it's just a fold pre uh, so make it goes for the call jr goes for the call because why not and then it comes to raisuku who's probably the nicest guy in poker and he goes for the classic four bet with pocket kings on the button who gets pocket kings on the button that's just unfair anyway let's see how this hand just completely derails and then we've been going here for seven and a half hours, so I'm trying my best to keep it play, together, play, but that, some that of the stuff I'm seeing is just insane. Oh, Ruski here is going to four bet red kings. And a five bet? Oh, this guy is on raging tilt. He's on raging tilt. Eric Person, he's going to five bet a seven offsuit. These guys are a quarter million dollars effective. A quarter million dollars effective. Oh my god. Raised by JRB, three bet by Eric from plus one, call call, four bet on the button, and coming back over the top with a five bet with a seven. I'm not sure what Mickey's thinking about here. It's quite a lot of the stack. He should just fold. What is Mickey thinking about here? Oh, he's out of there. Now, what is Ruski oh going to do? These guys are super deep. I cannot like this guy. Super, super deep. 400. Yeah. They're about elite. How much? How much? 65. 65. Oh, my God. It's, you don't see a five bet. Remember, I, I said that this guy's been a master of the speech play. It's been a master wow. speech play so far. Eric. Just a $400 straddle here, so this is about like 600 big blinds effective. Let's go! And here's a Eric decides to go for the 5-bet preflop to 65,000, and this is most certainly ill-advised. However, if you are going to ever 5-bet a hand light, you definitely, definitely want to have an ace, as you obviously block aces and you block a you know, hands like Ace-King as well. With that said, Raisuku, who's just full of smiles all the time, goes for the call, which I like. You can you can shove, obviously, if you want, but calling is completely fine as well, especially if you think someone is on tilt. You probably want to trap them. Yes, you're giving them a shot to hit an Ace, but it's not that hard to fold on an Ace side board with Pocket Kings. Let's carry on. Call. And I would say this is a pretty standard call here. Last night. Here we go, 138, <laughs> A7 off versus Red Kings. Yes, yes. It's about a pot and a half size bet in a five bet pot. 10, 10, 6. That's about as good as it gets here. I just don't see how, with about a pot and a half size bet, how you can really let Kings go after you don't see an ace. And look at this. I mean, Eric, that is, he's got a, I mean, you got to just put it in now. I mean, obviously we can see the cards. There's no reason to to, to call and allow some sort of free free card. I mean, I think you got to go with it here. And it's crazy because you look like a, a total fool if you make some sort of crazy lay down and assume a guy's got aces when we, we don't really know that. Ah. Is he going to... Mm. I've seen some huge folds with kings before. Oh, 
other way. All in all in. Ah. The thing that I would play back here if I was Ruski is remember, you had a cold caller in between from Mickey. It went open by JRB under the gun. Plus one here, Eric three bets. Mickey cold calls. You four bet kings. There is some incentive here for Eric to five bet to get Mickey out of the hand. I don't think I can fold here. You only started with a pot and a half size bet left to the what flop. What you about, Ruski? And here's the speech play. You know, there's a saying in America. It's better to die on your feet than live on your knees. <laughs> Is that a saying? Oh my God. <laughs> I have big hand, big uh, hand. I, don't know. I think I you have big hand too. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Ah. I have two options, all in or fold. That's I true. All, in's, all That's in could true. get me to fold with, for a lot more. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. Ah, 65,000, 65,120. Mm, big. Very big. Ah. I think he's really, really considered folding here. I really do. I don't think it's right. I'm saying I don't think that this is a Hollywood, but he he's right. He needs to put it in though for for, for equity protection. Ah. <laughs> and we could see if we do. Same. I mean, the only the other thing to take into account uh, here is okay. that. Right. Oh, finally he puts it in. Finally he puts it oh. in, and I was doing some. With 135,000 in the middle, Eric bets 120,000, and Raisuka goes into a very, very deep tank and basically says, you know, he has a big hand. Of course, he can have you know hands like he has pocket jacks, whatever. But Eric is always going to have live cards. Now the thing is, Raisuku can also have hands like maybe Queen Jack of Diamonds or King Queen of Diamonds or Ace X of Diamonds. Ace X of Diamonds being the worst case scenario for this particular hand, considering we have an ace in it. Generally, in four bet pots, you really want to do a lot of small betting, allowing yourself room to fold in these type of situations. With that said, Eric only needs to call sixty five thousand more to win almost a five hundred thousand dollar pot, so he basically has to call. Let's see what Eric does. Math here. I was like, if, is Ruski ever going to get priced in here? Is he ever going to get priced in here? He's getting, he's getting seven to one here. I don't think he can. I don't think he can call though. I actually don't think he can call. He's getting about seven to one here, and, you, and with that act, I would assume that Ruski has a pair. So if Ruski has a pair, are we? How many? How much equity do we need with just an ace? Like if Ruski has kings, queens. You, know, you can do it dirty. You can multiply three by four. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Which means that you need. God, you need. If you want, yeah. Why not? He needs seven to one. I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gonna show him. He, I, I have an overcard. Yeah. I think it's really close. Overcard. Yep. This is the exact hand and ranges that we're seeing here. Now, Eric Pearson does not have a lot of equity. He only has 14% equity. However, he only needs 12%, and 2% of a 400K pot is going to be a very, very big mistake. It's slightly yeah, less. Kings. It's slightly yeah. less, though, because of the diamond. Two. Yeah, I have two. Yeah, two. two yeah. Uh, aces of queens. Yeah. He has aces of queens. I know. Yeah. And I mean, I only... we can do the math. He needs eight. He needs, he's got one chance in eight. He needs seven to one. What's 65 times seven? Five carry to three, four, fifty. God, it's so close. It's so close. Oh. It's really close. It is close, but not that close. I mean, it's almost break even. 55, 57, yeah. Let's see how smart this guy is. 
I mean, he's got perfect information, right? Yeah, this is crazy. 65, 66, 67, 5. God dang. Got to fold. Nice, oh, nicely man. played. Except, except for wasting 10 minutes of all of our lives. There's zero chance. Look at 10? Wow. I've made him fold. Zero chance you can't, you can't go all in there. Ultimately, Eric ends up going for the fold, which is whatever. It's not like the biggest deal in the world. However, I would just avoid this hand entirely by not three betting pre-flop and then going for the five bet as well. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. Much love. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Bye-bye.